here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the look and feel of winter early this morning with uh, snow showers, light snow and cold temperatures, especially in southeastern Mass. Looking at Lincoln right now in the partly cloudy skies, dry, wasting no time getting near freezing and obviously a lot of nighttime to go through for these temperatures to drop off. I'm going to head down to about 2025. So the, the furnace working overtime tonight. Chilly temps now range from 34 in Boroughville, 31 Providence, as well as New Bedford. Most of the snow this morning, and it wasn't a lot, was pretty much where we were expected it across southeastern mass especially out towards uh plymouth county and east bay areas right in here we picked up a uh, just a, a little bit of a dusting i had just enough snow uh on the windshield of my car this morning just kind of brush it off nothing more than that but rockland mass which is in um Plymouth County Mass. As the crow flies, it's like 35 miles northeast of Providence. Picked up three and a half inches. Uh, Plymouth itself, 1.8. Acushnet, Falmouth, New Bedford, kind of like that coating to a half inch. East Bay areas, including uh, Green Airport, uh, East Providence, Providence, like a little sugar coating, a little dusting. So cold weather continues, colder than average through Thursday. We are dry the next several days, though much milder by the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Still looking at a storm potential for Sunday, but this is more now of a Sunday night, early Monday morning. This is not snow, it's rain, it's wind, and the concern here is for strong southerly wind gusts, 40, 50, maybe even 60 miles per hour. Could be some scattered outages, and this is later on Sunday night, so we'll keep you updated over the next several days. Partly cloudy across the area right now, cold and dry storm system moving well offshore, responsible for that northeast wind that gave us some of the snow showers this morning. Take you into tomorrow afternoon, a cold, dry, quiet day. Day, but temperatures topping out only mid and upper 30s. Move ahead to Friday, which is another quiet day. Temperatures a little better, upper 30s to middle 40s. And then Saturday looks nice. Despite Saturday starting off at 32 in the morning, it does recover to the 50s. Uh, Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, watching this strong cold front. Let's take this into the weekend. Let's jump ahead. Watch the time bar. Saturday afternoon, 54, a comfortable day, dry, no precipitation. This storm arrives Sunday night. Now, Sunday afternoon, look at the temperature, near 60, with increasing clouds, breezy, and it's mainly dry, but a windswept, heavy rain, thunderstorms, potential for damaging wind gusts. This is late Sunday night, pre-dawn Monday, early Monday morning. It'll spill over with some rain and wind and then drying out during the afternoon. So we're quiet tomorrow. Pretty cold start though early on 2025 sunshine mixing with fair weather clouds during the afternoon hours looking at temperatures generally mid to upper 30. So cold for this time of year, but at least it's a dry day. All right, seven day forecast looking OK for Friday, Saturday. Not bad and tell you what the daylight hours of Sunday uh, looks to be dry with clouds increasing on seas will be mild and that stormy weather for Sunday night with rain and wind. All right.